Welcome. This video is going to show you guys how to create side-by-side -side box plots. It's based on the last example in our Lecture 5 notes where we looked at determining whether or not elite distance runners are actually thinner than other people. So first off, I want to talk about how the data is entered into Jump. And you could do this manually. I do have a file that contains the data. Let me go ahead and open the file. I have it labeled as L5 for Lecture 5 Runner Body Composition. Okay, and this is a little bit different than what we've had to do before because we now have two variables here. We have the skin fold thickness in the first column and then the second variable is the group. So if you were to refer back to your Lecture 5 notes, you would see how we, how we had this sort of ugly looking data table where we had a bunch of measurements for the runners and then a bunch of measurement for the one for the non-runners essentially. Uh, what we did is we put all of the skin fold thickness measurements into one column labeled skin thick and then the second category we have is a categorical variable essentially assigning each of those people to groups. So we have you see 15 runners and then the rest of the data set correspond to the others if you will. So what we want to do in this video is create a box up side by side box, box plot so we can compare these two groups. We will create the side by side box plots going to graph, graph builder. And this is going to be a little bit different because what we want to do is on the x-axis we're going to put the categories, that's the group variable if you will, so let's go ahead and drag that over here. And then on the y-axis we'll put the skin thickness as you see there. Alright, now we can go ahead and create a box plot and remember the options are listed across the top here, pick the one that corresponds to box plot and voila we have side-by-side -side box plots for comparison. Now it's clear that the first one, the other group, if you will, uh, is much more spread out. Uh, the, the median skin fold thickness appears to be larger here than it does in the runner group. So we do have some potential evidence that these groups are different. So what we should do now, if you want to get this graph into Word, what you would do is right click on the background of the graph, select edit, and then copy graph. Open your Word file and very, very easy. You can just paste that into your Word file. Uh, as before, you can resize this and all that good stuff. All right, going back to jump then, rather than just looking at these pictures and saying, okay, it seems reasonable that runners have smaller skin fold thickness and less variability, let's actually numerically summarize that in jump. So I'm going to go ahead and close the graphing window. And in jump, back where the data set is, if we go to analyze distribution, as we have done before, uh, we're going to be able to analyze this. Now here's where you need to pay careful attention. Our variable is the skin fold thickness, so we're going to select that for Y. However, if we were to select OK at this point, it would just average all those values, find the standard deviation, find the five number summary for all of the observations grouped together. However, we want to compare and contrast the two groups, so what we're going to do is down here where it says by, we're going to place the group variable. So we can drag the group variable into that buy box and now when we select OK what we're going to do is get summary statistics for two different groups so if you look at this it says distribution group equals other so this is the non runner group here's a histogram here's a box plot here you could read the five number summary here are the st summary statistics however if you scroll down then now it says distribution group these are the runners here's their histogram box plot five number summary and other various summary statistics. So again, I want to run through that quickly. We went to analyze distribution. The variable of interest is skin fold thickness that goes in Y and then we have to break it down by group. So we select group, put it in the buy box, hit OK, and then we get our summary statistics from there. Thank you.